Southeast has remained a conquered territory since the Nigerian Civil War ended over 50 years ago. Oftentimes, security operatives harass, intimidate, extort, torture and even kill innocent youths under different guises. Some of the incidents are reported, some are not. The people appeared caged, but there is always an end to every season. For now, we are in the season of extrajudicial killings. International Human Rights Organization, Amnesty International, AI, in a recent report, chronicled the most recent killing in the region according to the organization security operatives killed over 115 civilians between march and june this year ai added nigerian security forces have committed a catalog of human rights violations and crimes under international law in their response to spiraling violence in southeast nigeria carrying out a repressive campaign since January, which has include sweeping mass arrest, excessive and unlawful force, and torture, and under heel treatment. President Mohamed Buhari had warned a few months ago that troublemakers in the region would soon have the shock of their lives. He made a lotion to a civil war exploit and said his government would treat such people in the language they understand. We are going to be very hard sooner than later, he said. Perhaps this civil war language is what is playing out now. Otherwise, why would any sane soldier kill Mr. Oguchi Unachuku, a German-based Nigerian who was unharmed? and posed no threat to anybody. The man was on his way to Oweri Airport to catch a flight en route from Lagos to Germany on May 31st, 2021, when the officer of the Nigerian Air Force shot him dead at the checkpoint in Oweri. In the same Imo state, soldiers also killed a 45-year-old man, Matthew Opara, who was going home from work at a place called Oji near Owewe in May this year. This man was the breadwinner of the family, but one moment of military madness has left his family traumatized. This siege did not start today. In December 2015, many soldiers, that is, you know, soldiers killed about 12 youths, pardon, and wounded many others at Head Brigade, you know, Head Bridge, pardon, Onicha in Anambra State. The crime of the victims was that they trooped out to jubilate after they heard that a court had ordered the release of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop, Mazi Nabdikanu. In February 2016, some unharmed members of Ipop went to a school compound to hold a prayer section in Abba, Abia State. Some minutes after they started clapping and singing, security agents swamped on them. By the time the operation ended, 22 IPO members were confirmed dead and over 30 others were wounded. In 2017, the military hierarchy launched what is called Operation Python Dance to consolidate the siege of the southeast although the intention was to restore sanity and security in the region soldiers ended up intimidating and even kill people at random then it became extremely risky for anyone to have a tattoo or to be seen with an insignia of biafra it could lead to one's death some new papers, you know, free readers and vendors, tricycle riders, artisans, and passerbys were victims. The security situation in the region wasn't.
from January this year when security men became targets of attacks. In Imo State, about 21 policemen were killed in Anabra, Abia, and Ebonyi. Dozens of security agents were also killed. Media reports attributed the killings to unknown gunmen, but Nigerian authorities believe the corporate of the Eastern Security Network, ESN, and ham wing of IPOP. Though ESN came about in the wake of the rising spate of insecurity, especially attacks by criminal headsmen in the southeast and elsewhere. Security operatives were unable to contain such attacks. The southeast governors daily, daily on their promise to establish a regional security outfit. By the time they came up with Operation Ibobe Agu to coordinate the security in the region, it was too late. Apart from Ebony State that has shown you know, a uniform for the outfit, Ebobe Agu appears dead on arrival. Besides, IPOB warned Ibo Jude to steer it clear of the government security outfit or risk joining their ascensors. The Nigerian government sees this and other activities of the ESN as an affront. Recall that the federal government had declared IPOP a terrorist organization. But in a bid to clamp down on the Biafran agitators, security operatives most times disregard the roles of engagement rather than going, you know, rather than go after identified criminals. Who are killing people and destroying private and public properties? They unleash their anger on innocent citizens. Let us pose sentiment aside. What Nigerian you know needs in the 2023 presidential election is somebody that can put food on the table of Nigerians, irrespective of religion, tribe, and what have you. Though saying that it is their turn to produce the next president in 2023 should stop that agitation and let all political parties pick their presidential candidates from the southeast region for equity, fairness, and oneness. What is your thought about this present situation? What is your own reaction to this that has been said according to the news? The southeast have remained a conquered territory since the Nigerian civil war ended over 50 years ago. Oftentimes, security operatives harass, intimidate, extort, torture, and even kill innocent youths under different guises. Some of the incidents are reported, while some are not. The people, you know, appear caged. But there is always an end to every season. What is your reaction to this that has been said? I would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction over the comment section on this that has been said. I'd like you to share your own point of view with us on this. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Guests reacted to this and said, The southeastern part of Nigeria is said to be peaceful, but suddenly, southeast has become a most residence for extrajudicial killings and a war front where everything is being tolerated what is your thought about what guests have said that everything is being tolerated in the southeast extrajudicial killings war front series of things happening in the southeast southeast is wide enough to accommodate all these atrocities what is your thought about this that has been said according to what guests have said that southeastern part of nigeria is said to be peaceful but suddenly everything has turned upside down what do you think can be done in this kind of situation According to the news we have heard earlier that Melapia said dividing this country is just the best way to go about the present situation that everybody should go their separate ways I think is the best way according to what Melapia have said. And now looking at the extrajudicial killings happening in the southeastern part of Nigeria do you think if we divide this country it will be an you know another added advantage to us? and even Nigeria as a whole. 
We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section on this that has been said. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.